Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it's that time month again. I've just got a scroll box in the mail. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay guys, I already know who this is just from looking at this print back here. So, if you're watching my channel, you probably do know this person as she is very popular on YouTube and Instagram. But her name is Casey Golden. Let's just move these the supplies out of the way. So yes, this artist is called Casey Golden. This is her work and her little ants, which are kind of her signature for channel. And so I'm really happy I got a print of hers because I really do love her work. And I've always wanted one of her prints. So this is something I've really wanted. And it's, she's just one of my favorite artists on YouTube. So I'm really happy to be supporting her here. As you can see, Casey Golden. And um, this is all her information, her social media links, as you can see. I highly recommend go checking her out because she does amazing watercolour work which is what I assume we're doing today with the watercolour paper. Don't know what's in here though. So yeah, we got her print which is really really nice, really bright, really colourful using her ants and stuff. As well as two sheets of very thick paper, very thick watercolour paper. So yeah, let's put all this aside for now and look at the goodies. Let's put this away. So to start with we have our sticker which is a watercolour and wash but it's with grey actually so that's new it's not bright and colourful. Well, I'm not mad about it so yeah grey wash. Oh I am so excited for this. You can't believe okay so these are Vivia watercolour sheets so how these work I'll show a demonstration afterwards. But these little tabs correspond to different pages in this booklet. And you can see it's a bit thick, this booklet. When you open it up, there's swatches of watercolour. There's two colours on a page. When you open it up and activate it with water, you can use it like watercolours. You take the colour from the page and apply it directly onto your paper. It's so cool. I really wanted these actually for a while. I nearly bought these like a couple of months ago. So this is so cool that I'm actually getting them. It's like with the Ecoline markers. I nearly bought those. I'm glad I got them. So I'm really happy that we got this. We got a little sweet and um, this is Jolly Rancher. This is an American brand I think of sweets actually. Which is quite interesting because I've only had these in America so that's really cool. Um, oh, <laughs> don't know what to look at. We'll look at this first. So this seems to be a line art version of her print. So this is A6. Yeah, this is an A6 version of her print so I guess they want us to colour this in, so, oh, it's a postcard. That's cute, isn't it? So yeah, I may do this as like a little warm up to get used to paint some whatever and test them out. So yeah, that's really nice, I do like that. To go with our watercolour um, paper, Vivian Sheets, we have a, we have a Milan 0.4 brush. So this is just a round tip brush. It's synthetic, so really good for watercolours. I assume this is a mechanical pencil, which is really nice because I've been looking for a mechanical pencil recently. Uh, it's Pentel. It's a Pentel mechanical pencil. The one that I was literally looking at on Amazon. So that's amazing that we got that. So yeah, it's you just click it and the lead comes out. As you can see, push it back in. There must be something to do with this though because there's quite a few ridges and does it come with no razor. Don't think it does, but that's all right. That's all right. We all we all have the razors. And then finally, oh, this is new. So this is Wins and Newton's new line of fineliners. Well, I say new. I say couple. They're probably a couple months old. But yeah, this is a new line of fineliners which I haven't tested out yet. But now I get to test it out. Oh my god, I'm really happy with this. There's not that much, but it's so perfect for what I use. Literally, all these in conjunction together. I love you. I love using watercolors, to be honest. And so this combination is really nice. So let's just move this paper aside and look at our little sheet, our little card. So as you can see, this is our little sheet. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. So. 
The watercolour sheet retail for £19. The Pentel Mechanical Pencil retails for £12. So already that is 20, that's 32 quid I think. Our brush which retails for £179. This, well, that's why I assumed it would be. And then our fine liner, Winds and Noon, that's, this is apparently 4 quid for one fine liner. So it better be pretty good. Does it say if it's waterproof? Um, yeah, water resistant. So it's used for lining at the end of it or before. That's really cool. Okay. And then our two sheets of watercolour paper, apparently Buckingford watercolour paper, 300 GSM. That's why it's really thick. It's really nice. And our challenge of the month is feeling buggy. So it's going to be insect inspired then. I thought it meant by buggy as like a pram or like a snot or something, but buggy I think is to do with the insect or could be with dancing. Buggy, you like to buggy when you dance. So yeah, that's going to be an interesting try out. I'm actually really excited for this, to play around with all this. I can't believe that I've actually got... These two have been on my wish list for a while, been wanting to get both of these. Perfect, as I'm going back to uni today actually. So using this will be perfect in class. Now I've also always wanted to try this. I've also always wanted to print by Casey Golden. So this is kind of like a perfect box for me almost. I'm so excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my camera downstairs because I'm going to do this downstairs with my flatmates and just watch TV while I'm downstairs. I'm going to swatch out all the colours first probably on one of these taster sheets and play around with some sketches. Warm up on this, get this painted, whatever. This will be cute to just have on my desk or something. Then I'm going to follow the same colours and then after that, work on the prompt. Okay, hey guys, I'm um, sorry if the audio quality is a bit shite right now. I'm currently editing this on my laptop and I forgot to realise that my headphone jack on my laptop is a bit knackered and so I can't plug in my new mic into it, which is a bit sad. So I'm using the laptop mic. Hopefully it's not too bad. I've got my window open right now. It's raining outside, so you could probably hear that. Well, I'll hopefully be able to edge this to the best of my ability in post-production. But yeah, this voiceover is going to be very quick as I don't really have much to say about this, except for, like always, these scroll boxes every month are so much fun to use. I think this month has probably been one of the best ones we've ever received. So the Vivian watercolour sheets are so amazing. Like the, the colour quality you get from it is actually unbelievable. So since uh, using watercolours, I've always used Winston Newton Cotman watercolours and I always thought they were good. But compared to the these, they're so chalky and whatever and now I know what real watercolours feel like. Like real good quality ones. Like, I know we've had the Dale O'Rowney ones a couple months ago, which were really nice, but they're still student grade, so they're still a bit chalky, still got a bit filler in these. However, the Vivian watercolour sheets, I think, are 100% like higher quality. They're closer to artist quality, I think, than any other things we've ever seen. So, yeah, it really use it, makes a lot of difference. If you guys have used this box and have used a previous um, use like the deal around me, please comment below if you notice a difference in quality as well because I think when people say professional grade watercolors, this is what they mean. It's so creamy, it goes on so nice and matte. And when it dries on the page, it doesn't look chalky at all. It looks kind of like a printed almost. Like, imagine gouache printed but with a watercolour, like, diluted look. That's how it feels to use these. So yeah, I really did love these. Um, the actual illustration itself was an interesting one. So I took the idea of feeling buggy as in the sense of disco. And so how people like to dance when they're bugging. So instead I decided to draw a bug insect type thing with an afro in the club dancing. Because he's just having a good time, he's having a buggy. However, the colouring for this probably wasn't the best. I feel like I used every colour under the rainbow to try and use to finish this, as I just wanted to use all the colours, and I think I did. I'm just looking at the illustration now. If I could go back, I would probably change the t-shirt and the pants 
Or actually, just in general, add wrinkles because I think that's the one thing I'm missing out on. I didn't add too much detail to shadows of it, and so if I could go back, I would do that. As well, I probably wouldn't have made his skin green. I probably would have changed some colours around so I could use a lighter tone. But except for that, I really do like how it came out. It was fun to do, it only took an hour. It's like a really nice thing because on this day as well, this is like my first week of uni, I was back at uni, had stuff to do, and so this is like a nice break in between my other work to have fun with this. And yes, the art supplies themselves, as I said, are really good. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be carrying these watercolour sheets for me now quite often, as they can fit really nicely in my sketchbook. The Pentel pencil, I wish I used that more, but I only really used it for the drafting and sketching, but I really loved it. And um, you can tell the, how high quality it is just from holding it. The metal barrel just feels so much nicer in your hand compared to like plastic Bic pencils. So yeah. I'm glad I got that. Like I said, it's been on my wish list for a while now, and I'm actually just so surprised I got it. This is going to be what I use all the time in class now. And then the final thing as well I want to talk about is the fine liner. So we got in point 0.8, and I feel like that was too big for me. I like maybe if we got point 0.5, that would have been perfect. I really liked that the ink quality looked really nice. It looked very pigmented. Probably go use it during Inktober, most likely, but. I wish we got a 0.5, not 0.8, as 0.8 on A5, I don't think it really works. You only really use 0.8 on like A4, maybe. If we had 0.5, I would have loved it even more, as I could probably use that on my day-to-day -day work. However, 0.8, I don't think I can. But I'm glad we got it, I got to test out. I might invest more into these liners, as the... You can definitely tell they are more professional than, for example, so yeah, I just pulled out the Uni Pen Fine Liners and you can definitely tell that the window new ones are higher quality and the ink itself is just nicer. It looks a lot smoother and it goes on a lot nicer. So yeah, that might be something in the future, but I think definitely the stars out of Oh, and the brush. Okay, forget the brush. The brush was nice. It was just a regular brush. It's a good size and I put by my pencil case to use along with the watercolour sheets. I wasn't too big, it was a good size, 0.4, so it's like a all around the brush I guess like 0 0.4 0 0.5 you can really use it in a lot of situations but as I said the main star of the show is the Vivian watercolor sheets I'm just looking at this swatch chart I made now I can't believe this came out of a little book of like watercolors it just looks so strong and so like the pigmentation in it is so powerful they just work really well I'm looking especially at the turquoise green and like the emerald colors it's so nice. I love it. I can't remember what the actual colour names are for life of me. But I do want to say though, not that many pinks. Like we get one bright pink, pinky purple, and then we get like um, bluey purples, but we don't get a nice strong rose pink. So I guess that's something you have to like make yourself, but you don't have a white, so you can't. I mean, you're not supposed to use white with watercolour because if you go make something more transparent, you wash it down. But if I want to make it less, like for example, if I want to make it red into a rose, you don't water that down, you add white to it. So that's something that's a bit strange, but hey ho. With the Vivian watercolours, you do get a palette that you have to stick onto it to the side that goes in and out. It's a nice idea, but it's very small and the colour just runs off it, so like it could leak off the side or onto the other pages. Whereas with traditional watercolours and watercolour pans, you often have a palette with it, which is often something that you take for granted. So, just to conclude this all off, I hope you guys have enjoyed this speed paint. I'm sorry if the lighting changes quite horrifically as well. I filmed this over multiple days, day and night, so I just worked with what I got. As I said, I'm sorry for the audio as well if it's really bad. I'm editing this on my laptop. You have to get used to this as with the vlogs and stuff, I'm going to be doing that on my laptop as well, editing it in uni. So I don't know, but I'm not going to be doing voiceovers on them, so I'm not sure. Um, so I've got anything else to say, I don't think I do, but before I log off on this, I just want to say it's only been a year now doing this, and honestly it's been so fun. I know my posting schedule is horrific, as in it's like once a month, you maybe get two a month if I'm lucky. 
it's just because I feel like doing my own work and stuff and post it on the channel like my own original work I don't think that'd be that popular I tried it and I know I shouldn't look at numbers numbers shouldn't get me down but it's just something you can't help it's just something that you look at and so that kind of pushes me not to want to do it but I need to want to start putting stuff that's not just uh, subscription boxes or challenges I need to put my own work up on here because I want to show what I can do that's a whole other rant for a whole other video but yeah guys just to conclude hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please smash that like button comment down below if you've used if you've got this box if you haven't yet are you excited for it subscribe below it helps me out share this video if you can just show people who might be interested in scroll box this is what you can get until next time guys keep on creating and have fun